Now, my today's question is find the equation of the line passing through the point this and uh, making intercepts of length 2 unit along between the lines this and this. These are the uh, IIT questions uh, during 90s. These are the IIT questions during 90s. So here, <coughs> Uh, find the equation of the line passing through the point this and making intercepts of length 2 unit between uh, the lines this and this. So let me draw the graph of it. So here you see this is uh, y is equal to minus 2x uh, plus 3 and here again also y is equal to minus 2x. Uh, plus 5 so I have converted this into slope intercept form that is slope intercept form that is y is equal to mx plus c this is slope intercept form so here you see that because the slopes are um, equal so they are parallel this is not to the scale because minus 2 that means it will be like this the graph will be like this the graph will be some some minus to the graph will be like this mm, oh sorry 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 not like this it is correct mm, uh, sorry it is not like this uh, uh, means the angle will be obtuse angle to angle because the, your intercept is positive so your graph will be like this this is uh, a 0 3 and another this uh, this will be 0 5 so here you see that this is 0 3 and this is 0 5 so here you see that uh, these two lines are parallel because uh, uh, they are parallel because uh, their slopes are equal now there is a line which uh, passes through the point this and makes uh, an intercept of length 2 unit between the lines suppose this is the line uh, which is passing through say say this is a, this will be a, sorry uh, somewhere here 2 comma 3 somewhere here this will be 2 comma 3 somewhere here this goes 2 and 3 somewhere here and so and uh, making length of the intercept means this is 2 unit this is 2 unit this is 2 unit so we have to find the equation of the line we have to find the equation of this line we have to find the equation of this line so now uh, let me find the perpendicular distance this is the perpendicular distance between two parallel lines let this be a b and c now let us find out the perpendicular distance between these two lines so between the parallel lines your formula is y uh, d formula is d is equal to modulus c1 minus c2 by root over 1 plus m square so here uh, c1 minus c2 so this will be uh, 3 minus 5 by root over 1 plus minus 2 the whole square so this comes out to be 2 by root 5 so here your this perpendicular distance this your perpendicular distance is uh, 2 root 5 no sorry not 2 root 5 2 by root 5 2 by root 5 this is your perpendicular distance means ab that means your length ab your length ab is uh, 2 by root 5 and your 2 by root 5 your length ab is uh, 2 by root 5 and your AC is uh, 2 so let me find out in that BC let me find out BC so to find out BC I am going to take the help of uh, Pythagoras theorem so by applying Pythagoras theorem in triangle ABC your AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square this is your Pythagoras theorem so here AC that is equal to 2 square and your AB 
टू स्क्वायर योर ए बी दैट इज इक्वल टू टू बाय रूट फाइव द होल स्क्वायर प्लस बी सी स्क्वायर सो हियर दिस इज फोर माइनस फोर बाय फाइव इज इक्वल टू बी सी स्क्वायर सो ट्वेंटी माइनस फाइव दिस विल बी सिक्सटीन बाय फाइव इज इक्वल टू बी सी स्क्वायर सो दिस विल बी फोर बाय रूट फाइव इज इक्वल टू बी सी सो हियर फोर बाय रूट फाइव द वैल्यू ऑफ बी सी दिस बी सी विल बी फोर बाय रूट फाइव फोर बाय रूट फाइव दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ बी सी सो बी सी विल बी योर फोर बाय रूट फाइव सो नाउ वॉट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस दैट आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड द एंगल ए सी बी आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड द एंगल ए सी बी लेट दिस बी थ्री टर्म so value of uh, going to find the value of theta so your tan theta tan theta that will be equal to uh, perpendicular by base that is 2 by root 5 by 4 by root 5 root 5 that is equal to 1 by 2 that is your tan theta that is the angle between these two lines this angle this angle this is theta that is the angle this is the theta this is the angle between the two lines so now we know the slope of this line we know the slope of this line is uh, uh, let it be m uh, m m2 let it be uh, m2 we know the slope of this line this is minus 2 we know the slope of this line and let the uh, slope of this ac line be a uh, m let the slope slope of line ac let the slope of line ac bm so i am going to take the help of the angle between two lines so the, your angle between two lines tan theta that is equal to modulus m minus m1 by 1 plus m into m1 this is so this is 1 by 2 that is equal to m minus your m1 is uh, this is minus plus 2 Uh, because your uh, uh, this is let this be m1 m2 means let this be m1 and so your this is a minus 2 um, divided by 1 minus uh, um, 2m 1 minus 2m so here uh, you see that uh, this is uh, 2m so here this will be 1 by 2 is equal to m plus 2 by 1 minus 2m so 1 minus 2m is equal to 2m uh, 2m plus 4 so this is comes out to be minus 3 is equal to 4m so minus 3 by 4 is equal to m now um, since we know that we uh, because it is modulus we have to to take two values if you take this negative value what happens let me see minus uh, m plus 2 by 1 minus 2 m so this will be uh, 1 minus 2 m is equal to minus 2 m minus 4 so here you see this cancels out so there is no need of minus we will take only the positive value so when we take the positive value your m is this that means i have got the slope of this line this is thus m that is the slope of uh, ac now i can easily find out the equation of this line ac uh, ac that is y because it is passing through the point 2 and 3 so y minus 3 is equal to minus 3 by 4 x minus 2 so this will be 4y minus 12 is equal to minus 3x uh, plus 6 so this will be 3x plus 4y uh, 6 7 8 minus 18 is equal to 0 so this is the answer of this equation so these are the questions uh, which were asked in iits uh, uh, iits uh, during 90s so i have also selected such type of questions to show you uh, how it, uh, how these are solved so this is the answer of this uh, question the most important point is that you have to under first of all you have to understand the question what is the questions 
is speaking and what uh, it, what 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 we have to find this is the main important point so if you uh, can understand what is the question given and what we have to find and how to interrelate this then it is easy to solve this questions Now see my next question it is on complex number if z1 z2 z3 represent the vertices of an equilateral triangle in the circle that is in the circle modulus z modulus z is equal to 2 that means root over mm, x square plus y square is equal to 2 so x square plus y square is equal to 2 square so we see that this is the equation of a circle this is the equation of a circle whose center is uh, 0 0 and radius is 2 this is the equation of a circle equation of a circle this is the equation of a circle 2 this is the equation of a circle circle whose center is this and your radius is 2 comma 0 this is your radius now uh, 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 represents the vertices of an equilateral triangle so equilateral triangle so here let me draw an equilateral triangle mm. Mm. this is an equilateral triangle so here this is an equilateral triangle mm. one minute let me here you see that this is a circle this is a circle whose uh, uh, center is a uh, yeah, uh, uh, represent the vertices of an equilateral triangle. This uh, circle, whose uh, center is or zero zero, and your radius is two comma zero. So let me take an equilateral triangle, say like this, an equilateral triangle. Let this be an equilateral triangle. Uh, consider an equilateral triangle. Now. Because all these angles are 60 degree, let me join this uh, here, this is and again this, let me join this, this all these are joined. So here you see that uh, this is an equilateral triangle. So now our vertices, so vertices, let this be Z1, uh, Z2 and z3 z1 z2 and uh, z1 you can place it anywhere for my uh, this will be let this be z1 and z2 and let this be z3 you they are the vertices of the uh, equilateral triangle and we know that the angle here in equilateral triangle this is 120 degree this is also 120 degree and this is also 120 degree these are 120 degree so as per your question you see modulus z is equal to 2 that means modulus z is equal to 2 here uh, this is uh, the from from this we get that this is the equation of a circle whose uh, center is at origin and your radius is 2 and z1 z2 they are the vertices of an equilateral triangle that means each angle is uh, 60 degree and this angle is uh, uh, 120 degree now what i am going to do is that i am going to apply 
the rotation concept of complex number that is the rotation concept rotation concept concept of complex number of complex number i am going to apply the rotation concept of complex number now uh, to apply this rotation concept that is i am going to move this in anti clockwise direction through 120 degree 120 degree that is 2 pi by 3 120 degree that means this triangle this uh, zo this is origin zo z1 and z2 this triangle z2 this triangle this triangle what i am going to do is that this triangle i am going to rotate it uh, through 120 degree so this will be this rotated in anti clockwise direction so according to this theorem this z2 minus 0 by z0 this is a, because this is 0 0 so this is 0 z2 minus 0 and uh, divided by z2 minus 0 uh, uh, z2 uh, this this part i am going to rotate uh, z2 minus 0 and so this will come here rotate it z this this triangle z2 minus 0 and z1 minus 0 this divided by z1 minus 0 that is uh, this magnitude of this length that means magnitude of z2 minus 0 by magnitude of z1 minus 0 uh, e to the power of i 2 pi by 3 i theta this is the theorem that means i am this is rotating it z2 minus 0 120 degree so this uh, z1 minus 0 again 120 degree and uh, magnitude of this divided by magnitude of this into e to the power of uh, theta where theta is uh, uh, 2 pi by 3 so here i am going to apply the rotation concept so here you see your modulus this is radius 2 and 2 so this cancels out so z2 by z1 this will be equal to e to the power of i 2 pi by 3 so here you see what i am uh, so here you see i am just and making an enlarged view of this this is z2 this means 0 z0 this is z0 is your what 0 0 plus 0 i so here uh, 0 plus 0 i so and this is uh, z1 and this angle is uh, 2 pi by 3 so i am rotating it in anti clockwise direction so z2 minus z0 z2 minus z0 and this same by z1 minus z0 your z0 is your 0 is equal to modulus of z2 minus z0 by modulus of z1 minus z0 e to the power of uh, i uh, theta so your theta is 2 pi by 3 and z0 it is 0 and this modulus this is the radius this radius is 2 and this radius is you cancels out so this is equal to into e to the power of uh, i theta so this is uh, uh, this is the concept rotation concept i have applied here now uh, you all know that the value of uh, uh, e i theta that is equal to cos theta uh, plus i sin theta so here this will be z2 by z1 uh, is equal to uh, cos uh, 2 pi by 3 uh, plus i sin um, 2 pi by 3 so this will be your uh, value so now here you see that here you see that z2 by z1 that is equal to cos 120 degree that is 120 180 minus 60 that means minus 1 by 2 this is minus 1 by 2 and plus i sin 2 pi by 3 1 this will be root 3 by 2 and now z2 is equal to your z1 the value of z1 it is given to you this is 1 plus i uh, root 3 uh, minus 1 by 2 plus i 
root 3 by 2 so this is your z2 now we have to multiply it so let me do one thing uh, you know you multiply z2 that will be minus half and plus i root 3 by 2 this is minus uh, root 3 by 2 uh, minus i sorry i root 3 by 2 and this will be plus uh, i square uh, 3 by 2 uh, I, I square 3 by 2 so z2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 this cancels out and here your remains um, uh, minus uh, um, uh, 3 by uh, uh, 3 by 2 my uh, 3 by 2 so this is equal to minus 4 by 2 that is minus 2 so your z2 will be minus 2 uh, plus 0 i so this is your z2 this is your z2 now uh, to find z3 i have to come to this triangle to find this z3 this will be uh, z1 z0 z3 to find this uh, z3 so here again i am going to apply the rotation concept when i apply the rotation concept that means uh, 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 this will I will rotate in clockwise direction in clockwise direction so z3 minus uh, z0 z3 minus z0 z3 minus z0 uh, z3 by uh, by z1 minus z0 that is equal to modulus of z3 minus z0 by modulus of uh, z1 minus z0 uh, e to the power of uh, minus i to pi by 3 because uh, anti-clockwise direction is considered as positive and clockwise direction is considered as negative so I uh, took this minus i to pi by 3 now this is the radius so this cancels out and here z0 that is 0 so this will be z3 by z1 and that is equal to e to the power of minus i to pi by 3 so z3 by z1 that is equal to uh, cos minus 2 pi by 3 plus uh, i sine minus 2 pi by 3 this so here now uh, so this will be z3 by z1 that is equal to this will be 1 by 2 because the, oh no this will be minus because cos minus theta is uh, again positive and this will be minus uh, uh, i root 3 by 2 so now given we know the value of z1 so z3 is equal to z1 that is 1 plus uh, i root 3 and minus half minus i root 3 by 2 so here you can take minus common that is minus 1 by 2 common 1 plus i root 3 the whole square so this will be minus 1 by 2 1 plus 2 mm, i root 3 and this will be i square that is uh, minus uh, 3 uh, because i square root 3 minus 3 so this will be minus 1 by 2 and minus 2 plus uh, 2 i root 3 if you take uh, mm, uh, 2 common so this will be minus uh, minus 1 plus i root 3 so this comes out to be 1 minus i root 3 so this is the value of z3 so this is how we calculate it we apply the rotation concept this is the rotation concept this is not uh, uh, given uh, this is not given in your syllabus in, in, in this recent class uh, 11 12 uh, math syllabus this is not given here but uh, this was uh, used earlier so this because these are the IIT questions of uh, during 90s so this is the rotation concept and uh, by the help of the rotation concept uh, I can easily solve this uh, and uh, I can find out the value of uh, z2 and z3 
Now the theory behind this is that if your fx is uh, differentiable is differentiable at x is equal to a so your f dash a f dash a that is uh, fx minus f a by x minus a <coughs> limit x tends to a uh, you this uh, exist or has a finite value or it has a finite value this is the main concept behind it that is the that is if uh, f uh, fx is differentiable at x is equal to a if this is differentiable at x is equal to a then your f dash x is going to limit x tends to a fx minus f a by x minus a exists or is a, or has a or is finite there is a finite value so now prove that the function this is differentiable at x is equal to alpha and there is also a function uh, this function g functions that is uh, uh, continuous at alpha and satisfy this let us prove it so here you see that this is given to you so since this is given to you that means fx minus f alpha is equal to gx into x minus alpha this is given to you so here you see that fx minus f alpha by x minus alpha is equal to gx so again limit x tends to alpha your fx minus f alpha by x minus alpha is equal to limit x tends to alpha gx so this is this is what is this is f dash alpha so here that means your f dash alpha is equal to g alpha this is f dash alpha is equal to g alpha that means your uh, your uh, fx is, is differentiable so here we see that your f uh, fx is uh, differentiable so this is uh, differentiable uh, differentiable at x is equal to alpha so your fx is differentiable at x is equal to alpha now here you see that your gx that is equal to uh, gx that is equal to fx minus f alpha by x minus alpha for x not equal to alpha because if you place alpha it will be uh, it will be zero so not defined and this is equal to and another so here you see that we get this value and equal to uh, f dash f dash alpha f dash alpha for um, this is we get uh, f dash alpha for your x is equal to alpha you will get the value of g so now let us take the left hand limit and right hand limit and see what happens so limit uh, here h tends to 0 g x plus h so this will be f x plus h minus f uh, this will be uh, f alpha uh, by uh, uh, x plus alpha so let uh, no. this be f x g so this will be f x and x oh no let me take not not this uh, let me take say this is uh, gx let me take uh, at alpha that means let me take limit mm, here h tends to 0 g alpha plus h 
that will be equal to limit uh, that will be equal to alpha f uh, sorry uh, limit h tends to 0 this will be f alpha plus h minus f alpha by alpha plus h this will be h and this is equal to f dash alpha so i have taken the left hand limit and right hand limit so here again now right limit again your h tends to 0 g alpha minus h so this will be limit h tends to 0 f alpha minus h minus f alpha by this will be minus h and this is also f dash alpha so we see that your uh, gx this is gx your gx is uh, continuous is continuous at x is equal to alpha and it has a finite value it has a finite value and at the same time we have also find out that fx is a, a, a fx is differentiable here we have find out that fx is differentiable and again gx is also continuous at x is equal to alpha and uh, satisfying this condition because i have taken the help of this to find out the solution so that means taking the help of this means uh, it is satisfying this so this is the um, proof of this uh, uh, question so this is uh, proof of this question so here in this question it was uh, we have to prove that that uh, this function it is given to you it is differentiable at alpha and uh, there is a function this is continuous means we have to prove that this is differentiable and this is also continuous satisfying this condition means this condition must be must be we must satisfy so i have taken this condition and by the help of this condition i have proved that because uh, g alpha this is a finite exists that means it we have got a finite value so if this exists so that means fx is differentiable at alpha i have proved it and by the help of this i have proved that gx is continuous at alpha x is equal to alpha so this is the proof we have to do satisfying this uh, this um, condition given to you Now here you see this is the question uh, B uh, complex number Z1, Z2 forms an equilateral triangle with the origin, with the origin. This is an equilateral triangle. Let this be the origin. So Z0 and uh, Z2 and Z1. So uh, it is up to you take this z2 or z1 i have taken this origin here you can take origin here anywhere but i have taken the origin here so here you see that it is an equilateral triangle so each angle is uh, uh, 60 degree or your each angle will be 60 degree 60 degree 60 degree so now here you see that i am going to have take the help of this rotational rotation of complex number theory of rotation of complex number let me rotate it anti in anti clockwise direction that is um, z2 minus z0 by z1 uh, uh, z2 by z0 uh, z1 i am rotating this in anti clockwise direction so uh, rotating this in anti uh, this is in uh, this in anti clockwise direction so this z2 minus z0 and z1 minus z0 uh, that is the equilateral triangle so modulus of z2 minus z0 by modulus of z1 minus z0 uh, e i uh, this will be 60 degrees 60 degrees pi by 3 because about this i am rotating this z2 minus z0 and z1 minus z0 uh, 
इज एट जीरो द क्वेश्चन इज सम वॉट लाइक दिस सो नॉट सो फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ इट विल बी ए स्क्वायर बाय बी विद द ऑरिजिन फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइन द वैल्यू वैल्यू ऑफ ए स्क्वायर बाय बी दिस विल बी फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ ए स्क्वायर बाय बी सो हियर यू सी दैट आई एम रोटेटिंग दिस रोटेशन एस एन जेड टू माइनस जेड जीरो जेड वन एंड एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन बिकॉज इक्वलेटल ट्राइंगल सो दिस मॉडल योर दिस लेंथ विल बी सेम सो हियर जेड टू जेड जीरो इज जीरो बाय योर जेड वन जेड जेड वन इज इक्वल टू ई टू दी पावर ऑफ आई पाई बाय थ्री सो नाउ हियर दैट मीन्स जेड टू बाय जेड वन दैट इज इक्वल टू कॉस पाई बाय थ्री प्लस आई साइन पाई बाय थ्री सो जेड टू बाय जेड वन दिस विल बी कॉस सिक्सटी डिग्री वन बाय टू प्लस आई रूट थ्री बाय टू सो जेड टू बाय जेड वन दिस इज जेड वन जेड टू बाय जेड वन दिस विल बी दिस आई हैव टेकन द हेल्प ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर आई हैव टेकन द हेल्प ऑफ दिस सो I have taken the help of this. So here, uh, taken the help of this. So here you can see that if you rotate it in anti-clockwise direction, we get this. Now, one more thing is given to you that Z1 and Z2 are the roots of this uh, quadratic equation. So Z square. Is equal to a z plus b is oh sorry, this is uh, z square mm, z square minus uh, plus a z plus b equal to zero. So from here, uh, z is equal to minus b uh, plus minus minus b. This is a minus a. Plus minus root a square minus four ac four into b. So let us take uh, z one is equal to minus a plus uh, root a square minus four b and z two is equal to minus a minus root a square minus four ab. Let us take that. by two a. I have just uh, two a and here again two a. And by 2a. So let us take a z1 this and z2 this. Now I am going to put the value of z2 and z1 here. So when I put the value of this, this will be minus a 2a minus a minus root a square minus 4a by uh, 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 By uh, uh, this is another uh, by two a this two a two a cancels out so here z two by z one so this will be again minus a plus root a square minus four a b so uh, this is uh, um, one is plus one is minus now. Uh, what I am going to do here is that um, that means uh, so here you got this. This is minus a minus root a square minus four a by uh, this is uh, minus a plus root. Uh, a square, not a b. Oh, again I made it. This is four b, four b, and this is four b. So here this is four b. A square minus four b is equal to one by two plus i root three by two. So here you see that. There is no i here, so this is the real zero i. So this is the real part. 
so this is the real part so real part is equal to half so here you see that your real part is equal to half that is minus a minus root a square minus 4b by minus a plus root a square minus 4b this is equal to half now uh, if we add 1 to both side if we add 1 to both side it will become minus a minus root a square minus 4b plus minus a plus root a square minus 4b by minus a plus root a square minus 4b that is plus 1 that means 3 by 2 if we add 1 both side so here we see that this and this cancels out so this will be minus 2a by minus a plus root over a square minus 4b is equal to 3 by 2 so if we do the cross multiplication minus 4a this will be equal to minus 3a plus 3 root over a square minus 4b so this will be here this will be your minus a is equal to 3 root a square minus 4b so squaring both sides this will be a square is equal to 3 comma a square minus 4b so this will be equal to minus 2a square is equal to that will be 12b uh, minus 2 this cancels out so your a square by uh, b this will be equal to 6 mm, 3 uh, mm, minus a one minute one uh, squaring both side if we square minus a but if we square both side so this will be minus 2 uh, minus 2 a square that will be minus oh, oh, oh one minute if i square both side this will be a square that is 9 bracket a square minus 4b so this will be a square that is 9 a square minus 9 a square minus 36 b so this will be minus 8 a square is equal to minus 36 b so minus minus a square by b so this will be equal to 36 by 8 so 34 9 ja and 4 2 ja so your a square by b value of a square by b is equal to 9 by 2 so your value of a square by b it will come out to be 9 by 2 so uh, this is a simple question only the theory the we are applying the I am applying the concept of rotation concept because this is not in your syllabus in this present class 11 uh, course so uh, you may uh, this uh, such type of question you find you will find difficult to solve but the rotation concept theory of rotation concept is very simple that is uh, very simple your theory of rotation concept suppose this is a triangle and this is the angle a so this is theta so a and this is a b c yeah. so if you want so let this be z1 z2 and z3 so if you want this rotate it about a if you want to rotate it about a so this will be z3 minus z1 by this z2 minus z1 is equal to more ac by ab and e to the power of i theta that is the angle at about the point about the vertex where you are going to rotate it, this angle so this is the simple rotation theory of rotation concept so it is not so tough and uh, this is the answer of your question